Hi everybody, it's Phil here from Sheldon Bosley Night in the glorious sunshine today for the latest video tour that we've got. Uh, the property we're going to is the one there, just behind me the for sale board is up um, there already. So where are we? We're in Warwick Gardens. Warwick Gardens is just a small little cul-de-sac, there's about 15, maybe 20 houses in this little section just here, uh, just off Norfolk Crescent which is just off Cumberland Drive itself. So we're in Stockingford and the area goes as Lindsley Park for those that want the full detail. So lovely little spot, loads of amenities, loads of attraction here and we've got a bit of a cracker of a house for you. It's been fully modernised, really good order, got an upgraded kitchen, uh, shower room that's all been done, got driveway, got a garage, a couple of inset ponds and we're selling with no onward chain on here. Property is empty, it's ready to be sold. I've got the key in my hand, so I'm gonna pin the camera around, show you a little bit more about what we've got here, and then we'll get a tour in. Look at the sky, absolutely beautiful. Let's uh, let's crack on, let's show you a bit more. That's the little street that we've got. Norfolk Crescent is just up there. I sold that bungalow at the top. Um, so you've got just two or three houses just here, and then we're tucked away there. Right at the end, there's only one more house here to the right hand side, as you can see. So there's the house, three bedroomed, semi-detached. As you can see, the driveway here for one car, you might want to scallop this bit in and make a little bit extra driveway just there. And the garage is on the side. It's number eight, as you can see, fascia soffits, gutter in all the new PVC on the main house just there. So let's get in. A lovely little climber climbing up the wall just there. So here we go. The house is absolutely immaculate. It really is in very, very good order. So let's close that door and give my feet a little bit of a wipe here. So tiled floor, as you can see, there's a stair lift in which will obviously um, go. So you're not straight into the front door, or the front, front room, should I say. That's what I meant to say. So into the lounge, nice size lounge. You've got a bow window. On the front there's a feature fireplace over there that's a marble fireplace and it's a remote control electric fire that's in there there's a really nice flooring in here really nice size room very handy useful understair storage cupboard there's cloaks pegs and shelving in there that works really well and then we never see two the same on these houses when we come towards the back of them and um, would have been a dining area and then a kitchen kitchen over this side as it is and that's all well and truly fitted out shaker style unit stainless steel handles got an integrated washing machine in just here it's all fridge freezer obviously space just there the oven the hob there's an extractor in there as well you've got the views over the garden from here and then if we just turn around you've got another big uh, unit just here matching that of the kitchen lots more storage underneath and Display cabinets and shelving, space for a little telly in there as well. Tiled flooring carries on and through into the conservatory. Very nice conservatory. None of this sort of polycarbonate roofing. Got proper double glazed roof windows on there. It's a nice size in here. You've got an electric panel heater, double glazed windows, doors out there to the garden, which we will come back down and show you. It looks beautiful out there, doesn't it? Very nice. So we'll work our way back through to the front of the house. As you can see, you're not really sort of set to be overlooked by anything there at the front. Those houses are a fair distance away. So let's get in. Let's go and show you upstairs. Let's just put another little board in here, obviously, for being able to get off the stair lift safely. Loft hatch there, smoke alarm, three bedrooms. The front bedroom has got the run of four fitted wardrobes, full height sliding door, as you can see there, the window on the front. That's that one, all in very nice order. Just going to do bedroom three whilst we're here. This one's got the bulkhead over the stairs, as you can see just there. What a lot do is incorporate the bed up high and then have storage underneath and it gives you a little bit more room at the back. If you wanted to do that near the front where the window is but nice big window there lots of light coming in the front of the house is pointing westerly 
and then bedroom do triple door wardrobe in here just slide in doors look as you can see just there and then this one's got the um, dressing table through and down so again it's a nice size second bedroom in there so that then just leaves the last room and pop the light on it'll be like blackpool illuminations in here very bright um pvc low maintenance sort of a cladding like a marble effect you've got the walk-in shower enclosure just there with the handheld shower inset lighting pvc to the ceiling as well this is all neat and tidy all nicely set up lots of storage and surface space little window at the end and then just in here i'm just going to show you you've got the um, boiler and there's a bit of storage in there as well so and wood effect flooring in here as you can see so right let's get downstairs let's go and do the garden i'll just come outside then show you the garden there's your conservatory and you can see the back of the house the sun is there obviously at the front as you can see as i said westerly facing at the front therefore your rear garden should face east yes it does there you go there's east just there so rises in front of us south to the right west at the front a um, couple of inset ponds one there some nice fish in there and this one as well um, quite a mature garden well stocked plenty of shrubs and bushes in the uh, back of the house as you can see and just on the side you've got the personal door into the garage garage fairly standard up and over door at the front power lighting door and window obviously quite handy so let me uh, get out the sunshine and turn the camera around tell you a little bit more there we go then so thanks for watching that we've just tried to hide out of the sunshine um, just so that you can uh, not get the sparkly head on this time um thanks for watching that's uh, Warwick Gardens video almost complete we're going to launch the property to the market very very shortly the video tour obviously is just being finished off now so we'll get the floor plan and the pictures and everything else in place anything you're unsure about let me know we can't answer any questions any queries that you might have as I said in the introduction the property is ready to be sold the paperwork for the sale of the house the probate etc is all in place and we're ready to go it's empty and we're going to be here we're expected to be busy on this one we've just sold around the corner on cumberland and round on norfolk as well so certainly worth coming to have a look at this one the house is in lovely lovely order all the way through kitchen upgraded shower room upgraded got a driveway at the front gardens neat and tidy lovely order immaculate really all the way through and it's a lovely lovely spot you tucked away at the bottom of the cul-de-sac just off norfolk crescent um obviously central part of sort of stocking ford here so you've got all the amenities nearby it's going to be a family that come here i would have thought and you've got the schools then top of westbury road you've got st paul's you've got stocking for middle and then go to the very top of westbury road onto radnor drive you've got an eating academy there so that's the three schools junior middle and high all sorted the other amenities are very very good you've got shops clubs and pubs nearby sunnyside pub is on northumberland avenue you've got a petrol station on tomkinson and Hornchwood Road, so that would work very well. Road links into the town are a doddle further away, outside of Nuneaton, out out towards sort of the other top end of Stocking Ford towards Hartsey, and then further afield, maybe Alderston, Tamworth, and onto the main roads, Triple Four, A5, and then from there, M6, M69, M1, of course. So, yeah, we think it's got everything for you. And um, you're probably unsure and thinking, what's the price going to be? So, we're going to market the property at 235 thousand pounds so if you fancy coming to have a look let us know we'll get you booked in for viewing on here nice and quickly remember if you want some help with your own property or unsure what the market's doing at the minute let me know and we'll try and see if we can answer any questions that you've got so look forward to showing you around thanks for watching this one take care for now bye bye cheerio